making it go, that's the reverser and that makes it forwards or backwards and there's a, an indicator there that tells you where the reverser is. So that's full forwards, neutral on your car if you like and full backwards. And then to make it go, that's the regulator. Pull that open and that gauge up there is how much steam you admit to the loco engine basically. Mm -hmm. So you start off in full gear and then as you get going you wind the gear back and eventually if you're on the main line doing 80 mile an hour that would be back to about 15% and that's the percentage that you admit steam to in the travel of the piston in the cylinder. If you didn't wind it back the engine just chokes itself, it wouldn't get rid of steam quick enough. Um, to stop it, that's the brake gauge there, it's all showing zero at the moment, but when you're running the reservoir's up about 20, the train pipe's up about 20 and that's the brakes off. To put the brakes on we need to admit air into the train pipe side and you do that using this control, with the brake valve. That's its normal running position. To stop it, that goes down. The train pipe is dropped down and the train stops. And then you get it going again, back to running, and away you go. Once you're on the road, you need to obviously keep the fire going. So the farmer's job is to keep the fire going. And also maintain the water level in the boiler. And to help you see it easier, you've got chevron lines behind it, which with the refraction of the water in the glass, it changes the direction of the uh, chevrons in the glass. To put water in the boiler, you've got a handle down there, that one there, that puts water into the injector, and then we need to force the water in at higher pressure than the boiler. So that's the steam valve there, and that steam valve forces the water through the injector and into the boiler. The boiler pressure is up there, at the moment it's about 240 and we could put some water in uh, just to keep it quiet. It blows off at 250, it gets very, very loud at 250. Really loud. And that's all there is to driving them, really.